The US CAN one hour fire related safe is in stock. Give me a call and we can deliver it to Vancouver, Greater Vancouver and the Fraser Valley. Just give us a call and we'll arrange delivery time to your front door. And I only have a few of these in stock, so call as soon as possible. Okay, so this is a fire safe. Let's just take a peek at what we got here. Comes with four AAA batteries. Okay, we got four AAA batteries. Remove the cover. I like batteries on the outside. I've got too many customers with the batteries on the inside get locked out when the batteries go dead. So, all pretty basic. Follow the instructions. Boom. This is right out of the bank, uh, right out of the box. It seems to go through the thing. Let's see how we go. This is uh, this factory. Open. There we go. And what do we have inside? Some bags. Oh, now this is really good. Okay. Save a few dollars there. So inside, this is the, uh, and this is a good, very good one uh, to anchor it to a concrete floor. So what we have is they've already pre-drilled the hole in the middle. So you just got to drill it in and it comes with an anchor bolt. So this can go into concrete and then you bolt it down. If not, you can use a lag bolt into a wooden floor. Oh, so this is a nice little option. Sometimes these things are... Uh, it's a fire resistant safe. It's got the basics here and it's UL listed. So that's good. Underwriters Laboratories. So it's a fire resistant safe. It's a rating class 350, which is a one hour of fire. And it's got the bolts. Now, people keep on saying, if I knock the hinges off, will it open up? No, it won't open up because it's this little thing. It just goes in, in the back there. And it's in the back. See the little spot there? So that little piece goes in there. So if they knock the pins off the hinge, that uh, you can't, it can't just take it off from the back here by removing the hinges. So to relock this, we go start. Factory is one, two, three, three, four, five, six. And we'll just lock it up again. So it's pretty simple, right from the factory, we're locked. Let's, let's punch in the wrong number. Aha, wrong number. Let's punch in the correct number. Again, this is set to factory. There we go. Very, very simple. A lot of room there. And we can just lock it again and we're all ready to go. The biggest issue people have with their safes, with electronic, with the keypad safes, is the batteries go dead or the batteries are on the inside they go dead. Sometimes there's a key override, sometimes there's not. So this one has the batteries on the outside. So as long as you remember your combination, you're good. So Perfect. Okay, changing the password. Change it from the factory code. We got to open it up, remove this. See the little white button? Push the white button. Then we're going to get user. Press the one button. So we're going to, and then when we get user one, press the start button, the new code. And it's going to say enter it again. And it's set. Now let's test it. Now I always tell people test it three times, please. So we know it's locked and it's open. We go start. There's the new code. And it unlocks, but don't lock it. I just want to test it three times. We lock it. Let's test it again. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. Also, visit my website 
and you can see what online locksmith training I have for beginners, intermediate, and advanced, as well as my covert methods of entry and my non-destructive methods of entry.